Get a cam going? Okay, I can get a cam going real quick. Hang on. There you go. Looks like more just like slow poking in main, but you know, Fielder is like way, way ahead on Nano Boost and Lip has just gone and fed to proper off spawn. So this is looking like a fucking disaster at this point. Probably gonna see the cart roll through to like at least 35 meters or something because the push is just gonna keep happening. Lip's gone over to the Ash as well. So no more Tracer action. He's not happy getting gapped. He says he's happy on Ash and thinks I can do that and I can gap that. Shu does have the Nano now. So there could be a bit of aggression, but straight away you can just see Falcons backing off. I called 35 meters and here we are with 35 meters. So, you know, nobody, nobody does it quite like me, I'm afraid. Um, you know, one of the nine viewers witnessing this, I mean, they can, they can vouch for it. Junbin has jumped even deeper and just committed suicide. He thought that he was going to get the jump pack damage and get his ult, and he just didn't get the jump pack damage. So that's fucking brilliant. And that's an awesome emote. And again, Lip just, you know, showing that he's better than happy in every way, getting a free pick onto Chiyo to start off the fight. And yeah, I don't know, Jumbo managed to actually not even pull his primal in that fight. Both of these bobs suck. I think the mirrored bobs, it's basically just sit AFK and do nothing. Neither team has to fight. Jumbo getting absolutely worked, dies as primal, doesn't get the nano, doesn't pop his own primal. Absolutely fucking useless. Every time we see Jumbo off in this side lane of Colossaire, he seems to just be getting shit on again and again and again. Blade is pulled by Heesung and he catches proper with that. Jumbo has gone down with his primal rage yet again. I feel like it's been almost four minutes it's a German nursing this primal rage. Now we're coming into the final fight. Mirrored bobs, mirrored support ultimates, mirrored tank ultimates. But we've already seen that German's primals on this map are basically cosmetic. He just doesn't feel like using them. German can just keep stalling this out. German is chasing Chiyo in main now. Will he get this kill? I'm not entirely sure. Sleep actually whiffed by Fielder, washed old man, and backline has been zoned. There's still a chance here. Less of a chance when your carry player gets picked by lip touching the cart. And now they have they have they can't even touch. They're old men. Their time is over. <laughs> there you go, perfect. All right, now I can start reacting to the other co-streamers. So we'll start easy with Commander X. Commander X right now sitting on 350 viewers. He's got a, oh, let's mute the Koreans while we do this. So we got Commander X sitting here on 350 viewers, comfortable, um, you know, many subscribers in the chat, as you can see, you know, little turbo icons, three months subscriber here, got another, that's probably the same person. We got a lot of three month subscribers here in the chat. We got RXIS, which I believe is a, someone from Bleed, six month subscriber. We've got lots of people here, but he looks to just be full of energy while he co-streams this match. He's really enjoying himself, even though it's just another game of three Overwatch, which is incredibly boring to watch for everyone involved. But you know, these are the big teams. But anyway, Commander X, you know, this feels like a pretty bog standard stream for here and he's just he's just running through things it all seems pretty normal he's going to update his player ratings and rankings based on people's hero picks and performance i think not entirely sure what he does with that information but you know this guy he loves his data analysis so that checks out but now let's get into the real meat and potatoes of things let's get into the aid youtube stream let's see what he has to say in korean it looks like he's running through the fights analyzing things which is a bit a bit out of my depth to be honest here we remember this moment we all remember this moment this is where Juman jumps up on the side no jump pack damage for his nano boost and needs to get a reactive nano uh, a reactive counter nano here god only knows what aid is saying about this scene but you know i can only imagine it's very supportive of the winston player let's let's hear what he has to say Oh, look at that. The body language he's utilizing too. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's throwing it around. So here we go, you know. Oh, anga, of course. Kurodava. Yeah, yeah. Let's ask him. What would CJ do here? A dollar twenty-five after pay. Oh my God, Sir Majed is in. That's how you know Falcons are completely fucked as a team. You know, like when their backs are so far to the wall that Happy is playing every single map over Stalker. Proper is on Tracer, dying to Lip, and Sir Majed is in. You're seeing it as a big problem for Falcons, a big buff for Crazy Raccoon, where Churong can actually play more than two heroes, and Chio kind of can't. And you'd think Sir Majed is a perfect solution to that, an absolute perfect solution to that because he is a flexible player that's really good at Alari. But 
there is this little problem that Sir Majed comes from a country called Saudi Arabia and everyone else on Team Falcons comes from South Korea. And when you've got that going on, you, you start to have difficulties because it, it turns out that the team that ex- like exclusively communicates in Korean, well, they don't really want to play with the guy from Saudi Arabia and they can't communicate with him properly. Cho Wong doing some sort of incredible like life weaver, Lucio, Moira Tech in Spawn, you can see. I'll go back for that one, actually. Look at this fucking nerd, dude. He's on Brig, then he's on Moira to fade towards the Spawn door, then he's on Lucio to amp someone closer to the door, and then he's on Alari to walk out himself. Like, Jesus, mate, tell me you've never felt the touch of a woman without telling me you've never felt the touch of a woman. Just unbelievable. What a nerd, right? Like, why are you taking it so seriously? It's actually just crazy. It's like you're only playing a land match in Korea, dude. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Get a fucking grip. A barrage goes out onto the Bob, but that's basically a, that's a two for zero trade because killing a Bob ain't a real trade. And now we're on third point, you know? Like I was saying right from the start, putting Majet in was the play. I've always said the real issue with Team Falcons is that they won't integrate Sir Majet enough. And clearly they all want to play with him because they're, you know, they're already on third point of circuit now, like I've always been saying. The back line as well. So Majed, he's done something really aggressive here, but he's kind of gotten caught in the middle. Chorong getting a push off because Majed forgot that when his ult ends, he has to fall down to the ground. And even though Falcons had five ultimates, by virtue of the fact that Hanbin is an old man, proper gets cleared by Hee on Echo when he's playing Faro. I have to configure seven TV so that you can get a gif of me humping my boss on the channel and whatnot. Okay, Hanbin, you know, he just immediately gets walled inside, but they break the wall straight away. Surma Jet on Zen, this is not a strategy that I would trust to clutch. We have 20 seconds here for Falcons and you have Surma Jet on Zen, which is the biggest liability in the world. <laughs> Let's rewatch map one, no, no, no. Now we're gonna analyze the other co-streamers. All right, so let's jump into Aid's stream here. Where Aid is frozen in time, from the looks of it. Aid hasn't moved a lot in the past 20 seconds. He's, he's still there, but he's more or less frozen in time. He's ready for a nano echo, is, is my understanding. My understanding is that when he says nano echo, he's talking about nanoing echo. Um, I, I've worked with Koreans for a long time, so I think I can glean this. But yep. uh, Max is actually injured. That's my belief and understanding based on... I mean, I, I've done some pretty deep analysis into the topic. Uh, mostly reading Pateti 3583's first chatter message in this channel. And it seems like, you know, on, on all accounts, Max is injured, which is why he didn't play... Proud Boys with a couple of question marks? Yeah, no, I was, I was watching Commander X co-stream the other day, and apparently the people that are fans of Proud, the player on Poker Face, they, they call themselves Proud Boys. That's That was my understanding, at least. No, genuinely, Finn is the Kamala Harris of Overwatch. When it was convenient for him, he was a full-blown true-blooded South Korean player. And then the second Overwatch League went to the dogs and just turned to shit, all of a sudden, Finn is the most identifiably Japanese player you've ever seen in your life, you know? He actually, like, full code-switched to being Japanese to the point that now you can watch this and he is speaking in Japanese to pander to the Zeta's Japanese fans because he's, like, full-blown now. You watch him streaming, and if you ever see him streaming on Twitch, he always has a Japanese title. He's, like, full playing into his Japanese heritage. So he's just code switched in order to make it a career that actually can sustain. I respect that so hard. Finn is like, Finn is biracial to perfection. I reckon, you know, if you, if you caught Jake in the right mood, you'd catch him saying better dead than red. Um, all right, let's see what this poker face tweet is saying. Oh, sick, sick. Yeah, I've got it. I like it when it's, I like it when it's in picture form so that I can't press the translate button. Who's on Poker Face that used to be on a team with Finn? That must have been back when Jesus was a boy. Pick after pick after pick. Window's actually been thrown out from Simple in like a 2v5, so I don't know what the fuck that is. Simple clearly wants to lose. People told me that this is going to be a good map to watch, but I mean, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it at all. Hello, Anta. I'm Italian. Where you learn Italian so well? My mother is Italian. Nico underscore Twitch San 2024. So that's... Yeah, I don't know. I mostly hear my mother and my grandmother arguing in Italian about my future, you know? And, you know, usually that's that's where I've picked it up from. Poke dream. Window comes out on the high ground from Finn. Violet actually gets taken out, but Finn trades onto Fixer. Pokerface's comp literally has nothing to do to get up there except for Fixer. And that's a Korean Lucio player that likes to play Brig. Simple has gone down. He got something for it. Don't believe my lies. And again, we have a flex support up on that high ground applying pressure. You can see Fixer, being a dog shit Korean Lucio player, can't wall ride. So he falls off the wall, fails to boot Violet off this high ground. And this is a real problem for Pokerface. This match isn't worth watching. Can you make the Jake picture bigger? Yeah, I got you. Um, 
unlock. There you go. Hope it helps. You would clone Jake Lyon so you could have more rich white boys from LA. I would clone Jake Lyon just so that I could kill him twice. You know what I mean? Like, imagine having the privilege of killing Jake and then you can do it again, but you can like VOD review the process and make it worse for him the second time around. Like that's, that's what I'm angling for. But Bellus Ria has actually managed to trade too. Even though Zeta Division, they got the first pick, they got the kill on the Zen. Somehow Bellus Ria as Wrecking Ball has managed to take almost everybody out. And now you can see him just as, uh, I don't know what I'm, I really don't know what I'm witnessing here, but if it works, it works. Um, and I mean, Bellus Ria did briefly look like he was drunk driving there on the Wrecking Ball, but he is also the one that got all the trades. So, you know, maybe Bellus Ria is a drunk driver, but he's not a drunk crasher. Drunk stream or just a normal stream? I'm having a drink, I'm not getting drunk. There's a difference. Um, there's a difference, you know? One is indicative of a problem and the other is indicative of a night out. And I'm doing the problem one here. Flats does six ads every five minutes. <laughs> so much ad mode. Um, yeah, look, I, I can look into this later. I I'm not expecting much ad revenue from the 63 viewers. So you y'all can enjoy your fucking three ads per hour. All right, so as you can see on the screen, I have asked the question. He's, he's acknowledged me this time, I didn't get aired. What do you think is a good amount of hourly ads to run on Twitch? Three minutes per hour, eight minutes per hour, 22 minutes per hour. And then he said Hangul, which he said 22 minutes, please. Thank you, thank you. Or should I say, Kamsamida, brother. All right, thanks, Aid. That's my guy. Uh, Bernard, he's just brown bread. You know, you need the new blood. You need Heesung in the server if you want to win, as I've said. anti nade comes out onto Bernard. I don't know why the casters are going crazy at that. He needed a diva standing still on point. Probably not the most impressive thing in the world, but, you know, I respect the hype. This point is on Bernard. Today is Bernard's birthday. He's too old now. Oh, okay, so he's officially aged to the point of uselessness. I like that. Maybe it is a support clutch. Flora actually takes down Proud and Simple. Bellus Rhea sitting inside his bubble has no hope of winning this one. So yeah, thank God for Flora standing there like a turret and killing everyone one by one by one. I mean, everyone knew that this was going to be an incredible series from the start, you know? And everyone has said that Poker Face is likely to usurp Crazy Raccoon in this stage. <laughs> I think I think it's worth talking about the fact that Hisung may be wearing a disguise. Soggy has mentioned it now, so it's in the it's in the like it's in the forum of ideas or whatever. But Hisung might be wearing a disguise. Is that's the theory? Some people think so. At least he may be wearing a disguise. Broadcast. So I think Gator checks all the boxes. Hey, thanks for the bit, Daniel. You cheap fucking dog. I hope your house falls down, dude. Like genuinely, I hope it falls down. I hope you get water damage everywhere and you like it's so overwhelming you don't know what to do about it. He just bashes back, doesn't even get caught. He sung now is primaling, man in disguise, going for the environmental kill on the ash. Will he manage? It looks like he will manage and he's out as well. So he sung really living up to his name as the best Winston player the Koreans have ever seen. I think that the actual theory here is that Heesung is fearless, but Heesung is fearless wearing a disguise. Because as we know, Heesung is wearing a disguise. I mean, just look at his fucking face cam. And it's probably fearless. Fearless didn't want to go to the military, so he disappeared, faked his own death. And uh, now Heesung appears out of nowhere, some dude wearing a disguise. So that checks out, honestly. Proud, half health, no bob in sight. Bellas Rhea just jumping back and back and back, but under so much pressure. Heesung now in the back line, going for a massive juggle, simultaneously juggling the Ash and the Tracer. And this is the this is the he song that we were all promised. You know, this is the mechanical warlord in disguise, no less. You can see Fearless's physiognomy right there. It's so obvious that it's Fearless. Just take the goddamn disguise off and reveal yourself. We all know who you are. Whoa, that guy looks like he could be related to Chio. Uh, thanks for following Tova. This guy looks like Chio from another timeline, like alternate timeline Chio. That's fucking crazy, dude. Not entirely sure what that is. It's not racist. It's that is not racist, dude. This is 
That's fucking Gregory. That's not even a dude. Okay, that's not racist. That that has to be sexist or something. Is that Gregory? No fucking way. All right. So that's that's a swing and a miss there. That's a, that's a big swing and a miss. But um, you know, it can happen. These things can happen. Anyhow, let's go to reacting to co-streamers where I can only assume that other co-streamers are misgendering the Korean castes as well. Since we haven't gotten into the map, let's make Jake a bit bigger for a treat. You drive a hard bargain, but I'll just, I'll cover the women in the crowd with Jake's, you know? They want their privacy respected, so Shh, cover her and her and her. Simple takes down Benar. Proud bit, proud is actually, I'm just gonna say it. I'm starting to feel like a little bit of a proud boy because the more I watch a proud on the widow, he's just taking over again and again and again, constantly getting the better of Flora in this matchup. Flora, you know, he's probably not the greatest of Widowmaker players. Flora, he's more of an Ash player, and there he is getting the better of Proud. I would never be a Proud boy because that's a disgusting thing to say. A lot of question marks from Color Hex in the chat. Not entirely sure what that's about. Stay inquisitive though, young man. Really respect that. This is some actual goofy shit right now. TP to the other side, flip the map, and Zeta has thrown the game. Like, what is Zeta doing? Oh, you have to touch the cart, Jasmine, you fucking bonobo. Good God. Actually insane. They get the flip, and Jasmine just walks backwards and stands AFK on the wall. He can just put shield up and start dragging the cart back to them, immediately winning the game. And instead, he just jerks off in the open, doing literally nothing, and makes it 100 times less likely that they're going to win. And now he goes down to, oh my God, get the fuck out of here. Like, there's just no way. All right. Here we are, TP onto cart. Perfect. It's like a centimeter in front of cart, and Jasmine puts his shield here and doesn't walk up to touch the cart. If he just started walking up, then the cart would have rolled into the May wall, broken the May wall, all would have happened, you know? All would have just started dragging, dragging, dragging. And then as soon as the cart starts dragging in this direction, admittedly, some of the blame goes to Choice A1. Because Choice A1 put the teleporter so far away from the cart that it didn't start rolling it. But still, sad state of affairs. How much for a night with me? I'm celibate. I'm, um, no way. No way. <laughs> oh my God. So on the topic of Jasmine being fucking incapable of touching the cart, Alfie has just triple blinked. Mew Mew, thanks, thanks so much for the money. Um, but I'll get on that in a second, but get the fuck out of here. Jasmine just doesn't feel like touching the cart so hard that Mew Mew, uh, no, that fucking Alfie just triple blinks under the cart does this. <laughs> That's so awesome. Jasmine needs to be shot. Um, this Brig Fixer needs to be shot. Choice A1 needs to be shot. We need a mass execution after this one. I'm sorry, but this is just fucking pathetic. Oh, that's a that's a nut bust. I was gonna die. Oh, I'm such a thrower. 